This is a short video to talk about how to add the emissive and opacity outputs to a Unity, uh, sorry, to a Substance Designer texture. Um, this is just very slightly modified from uh, from the metallic roughness template. Um, so I've got my base color and my roughness, my metallic and my normal, my height, ambient occlusion. And I'm going to add another output. It's this node right here. Or you can search for output. <clears throat> and we're going to, as close as we can, mirror what the base color and roughness uh, and all the rest of these have. And so these have four things attached to them. Let's, uh, let's zoom in here and look. So we have a base color, all in lowercase. We have the label base color with a space and it's capitalized. The group is material. And then the uh, components usage um, has a base color selection. And if we look at roughness, you can see that roughness is cap, uh, yeah, lowercase here, capitalized here, material is the same thing and we change the usage to roughness. Metallic, same thing. Normal, I promise they're all the same. So we're gonna go to our output. This one's going to be emissive and then capitalized emissive. The group will be material. And then the usage is none, so we're gonna click on add item down here. And then it'll ask us, what do you want to use this as? And right there is emissive. Also, opacity is right above it. It'd be nice if they just had like an emissive output node by default that you could like, just drag out. <laughs> yes, it would. Yes, it would. Um, but it's useful also to, to know how to do this. Yeah. So I'm going to duplicate the emissive. Uh, actually, I'll just do it all from scratch again. Let's do output. We're going to rename this as opacity. Oh, with a lowercase here. And then uppercase. The group is material. And the usage is opacity. So once that's complete, how do we make sure that it works? I like to put my emissive right underneath my base color. Uh, the reason being that it's a color map, uh, whereas roughness and metallic and, in this case, opacity is a grayscale map. So I'm going to put opacity right underneath roughness and metallic. <clears throat> so I'm going to take emissive. I'm going to build a text node. It's going to say cool. And if I drag that to my emissive, nothing happens. Because, because why, anybody? It doesn't need to be a color? I need to right click view outputs in 3D view. Oh. I built new ones. I didn't tell this 3D viewer to update itself. It just disappeared. Oh no. Anybody know why? There's nothing connected to the opacity and that defaults to black. And so we're going to build a uh, shape node. And I'm going to change the to a bell and drag that to the opacity. And now you're going to see that there's a little bit of opacity where it's white. And then there's no opacity where it's black. And there you can also see my emissive texture cool uh, working like it should. So, most of the time, you're going to want a uniform color that's a grayscale, and you're going to want to set it all the way to white, and bam. Let's default to leave this uniform color opacity always white. And your emissive is going to want to be the opposite. A uniform color that is grayscale that is black, so that nothing is emissive.
And that's it. That's what you would save your extras as. I went really fast. I'm going to stop recording.